bare vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of the bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had bought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant and in pensive mood, they flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. <laughs> so sad. Anyhow, I think it's absolutely lovely. There's another one, you know, I like just as well. It ain't got anything to do with the Lake District, but it is, it is so lovely. I don't know if you know it. Um, loveliest of trees, the cherry now, is hung with bloom along the bow and stands about the woodland ride wearing white for Easter tide. Now of my three score years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy years a score, it only leaves me fifty more, and since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs leave little room. About the woodlands I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. Do you know who that is? It's a very famous poet called A. E. Houseman. He wrote The Shropshire Lad and on Rekin Edge. Rekin is a large volcanic lump in Cheshire. And I just I just love him. He he wrote during the First World War and he bewailed the loss of the young people that died in the First World War. 